All right, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Urutia here, and I'm going over Unit 2, Lesson 4, Practice Problem Number 5. Here is a polygon on a grid. Part A, dry scaled copy of polygon of the polygon using a scale factor of 3. Label the copy A. Okay, so I'm going to start here with my scaled copy. This is 2, so if I scale it a scale factor of 3, this side is going to be 6. This side is two, so when I scale it by three, it's going to be six. Same thing here, it's going to be six. Up one over two in the scaled version is going to be up three over six. So here is my scaled copy. It's bigger. It's labeled A. So here is six, six, up three over six, and I have the scaled copy there. Part B, draw a scaled copy of the polygon with a scale factor of a, one half. Label it B. So just, I'm gonna go through it like I did before. This is two. So what is the scale copy gonna be? That's gonna be one. This right here is two, so that's also gonna be one. Up here, it's up one to the right two. So in my scaled version, it's gonna be uh, down a half to the right one. So there is my scaled version and it's labeled B. Part C, is Polygon A, a scaled copy of polygon B. If so, what is the scale factor that takes B to A? Here's something that we kind of touched upon a little bit in unit one, but if something is a scaled copy of something and then there's another scaled copy, those are all scaled copies of each other. So this is yes. B and A are scaled copies of each other. Now here is where it gets a little bit more challenging is what is the scale factor that takes B to A? We're gonna look at the side. This side here is one. This side right here is six. So what scale factor will take me from here to here? It's going to be a scale factor of six. So from here to here, it's one times six is gonna be six. One times six, that's gonna be six there. So the scale factor is six. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.